Which bridal party member are you worried about the most for tomorrow? <laughs> Danny. Jamie. <laughs> oh. oh, Danny. Uh, definitely Dan- Danny. Yeah. Danny, as they probably saw tonight, is uh, she's a little bit out there. She's She has fun. She's a little bit loud. <laughs> She'll be fine. I'll keep it in check. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> Danny and Jamie, though. Danny and Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. To, we got the boys here together. There he is. Look at him. He's matched in color. Good morning. There, say hi. Hey, that's. How's it going? Say hi to the boys. Hey. Hey, hey Sam. Hey, dudes. Wish you. Wish you were here, dude. Me too. Me too. Yeah, we're getting this on video. Wishing you were here. <laughs> we figured we call. It was actually Glenzie's idea. Good call. He was. Uh, oh, fuck. Look at that. Is he getting into the booze? <laughs> oh, yeah. well, these are actually Jared's and Kyle's, but yeah. Well, so when are you guys gonna start? We're out of here in like 15. We're gonna go smoke a cigar in the parking lot, have a last Heineken to take the edge off, and then the magic happens at three o'clock. So <laughs> one more yeah, hour. Right when ours starts here. Yeah, so we got an hour. Like we're yeah. we're close. Are you excited for today? What's your name? Clara. How old are you? Five. And what do you get to do today? Mm, be a flower girl. Yeah, and is that exciting? What's your baby sister's name? Elena. Do you like her? Yeah. Yeah, does she cry a lot? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite part of getting ready for the wedding? Mm, putting my wedding dress on. Hey, how's my day going so far? Oh, I didn't think I would be this nervous and kind of like anal about the way I look, but I really am. <laughs> Lots of fun, a little bit chaotic. <laughs> As always, getting ready for a wedding. <laughs> My day's good. I've been up since 5 a.m. <laughs> so, yeah, no, overall it's been pretty good. It's a lot more chill than I thought it would be. Good, yeah, I mean, it's it's honestly pretty chill. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I kind of expected a lot more, I don't know, tension in the air, I guess. Happening, but, you know, she's, yeah. a good, she's a good flow right now, and, you know, Jared brings that out. Yeah. He's always just, let's go with the flow, boys. And she's just yeah, he, he's very vocal about, yeah. I need my beer or my cigar right now. And, and he's good. And then he flows with it. piece of advice to give Stephanie on her wedding day. I wouldn't know too much because I'm obviously not married. Um, but I think that the piece of advice I can give Stephanie is um, to have fun and just enjoy the day for what it is. My dating history is not great, so I'm definitely not the expert, but um, just choose your battles. Not everything is worth fighting over. I don't know, besides the obvious ones, you know, like say I love you every day and the best advice I could give is maybe always kind of step back and see the bigger picture. <laughs> mm. I mean, he already had a kid, so yeah. he's kind of, so, he's already in the deep end of the pool. Yeah, we can't tell him to pull out or anything. <laughs> Obviously, that, that didn't work. That game's not strong. <laughs> he, he, needs, he needs practice, conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> but he's getting married, so. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Forever week. <laughs> the boys being boys, having some beers, smoking a stogie, hanging out, you know. So, you, <laughs> you know, you know, you know. You know. Are you scared? I ain't scared. I ain't scared.
grab my shower, didn't you? Because flies are flying around. It's not there. What animal would you compare Jared to, and why? Um. I don't know, maybe like a big panda bear. He's just such a softy. Although I hear they're actually kind of vicious, but. He's just a big softy. I guess I'd say like a snow leopard. <laughs> it's one of my favorite animals. They're very unique, rare, beautiful, and exotic. Like there's not many of them out there, so. Today, we have come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, they fell in love, and are finalizing it with their wedding today. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more, and it is their desire to love each other for life, and that is what we are celebrating here today. Today is also a celebration for the rest of us, uh, for it is a pleasure for us to see the love in bloom and to participate in the union of two people so delightfully suited to one another. I have words of wisdom. I'm not married, but I do have something I'd like to say. A good marriage must be created. In the marriage, it's the little things that are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. I, Jared, take you, Stephanie, to be my wife. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today. I will cherish our friendship and love you today. Tomorrow and forever. Tomorrow and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. Please pass it to Stephanie. I, Stephanie. I, Stephanie. Take you, Jared, to be my husband. Take you, Jared, to be my husband. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today. And love you today. Tomorrow and forever. Tomorrow and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. Jared, do you take Stephanie to be your awful wedded wife? <laughs>
<laughs> I do. Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish her and protect her and be faithful? I do. Do you promise to take out the trash and pick up your clothes off the floor? I do. And do you promise to love her even when she is cranky? I do. Are you sure? Oh, I definitely do. Oh, good. <laughs> Stephanie, do you take Jared to be your awful wedded husband? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him and be faithful to him? I do. Do you promise not to whine at him when he forgets to take out the trash or pick up his clothes off the floor? I do. And do you promise to love him after he's been out all night with the boys? I do. There are three rings of a marriage. The wedding ring, the engagement ring, and the suffering. I, Jared, take thee. I, Jared, take thee. Stephanie, to be my wife. Stephanie, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. Sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. And in joy and in sorrow. And in joy and in sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Stephanie. I, Stephanie. Take thee, Jared. Take thee, Jared. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer and for poor. For richer and for poorer. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. I promise my love to you. I promise my love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you as my husband for as long as we both shall live. I take you for my husband as my husband for as long as we both shall live. All right. Jared, you can kiss the bride. Or put in your ring. <laughs> Kiss the bride. <laughs>
love this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody's like dreading it. <laughs> Captain Morgan, <laughs> put your knee up. Yeah, Captain Morgan. I did. Fucking. Okay. <laughs> Two hands like ripped it. Seven and a half. Don't you put it in. Looks like Steph, you're going to Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Lift the pimp pam up. <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> Three now, you're so <laughs> This looks like an uncircumcised branch here. <laughs> so cheese. I'm so mortified. Do you mind a little extra skin? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the bride. This is all She's on like, you. Oh my you can't like escape this. This, this is sorry, going Mom. straight to the family. I'm sorry, Mom. plans probably gonna aim for a lake lot one day a seasonal lake lot pay off some student debt and get the girls all happy and maybe a trip to Disneyland for our one year anniversary yeah that's for sure the goal yeah. COVID ever sorts itself out go to Disney with the girls
to my dearest Stephanie Cujo, Oh Miss Jumbo Jam, my sexy, beautiful, and funny soon-to-be wife, whose gamer tag is no longer Real Slim Lady. I hope you know we are changing your gamer tag to Mrs. Rugger Man 888 so enjoy your last day with the title. How are you doing today, my love, on this crazy busy day? I'm sure you are nervous and anxious reading this letter as if we have worked so hard to get to this day. Cough, cough, more so you, as I am, I am a trash planner and my input towards the wedding, I'm sure 90% of the time was lacking. P.S. I love you so much for it because that stuff stresses me out and clearly it's a pink job. You're much better at these types of things than me. Enough of the goofy stuff, let's go to the mushy sentimental stuff that everyone is here for. You made your entrance into my life at exactly the right time. I don't know if it was fate or destiny, but someone was looking out for me that day. This was the moment I was searching for, the missing piece within myself, and needed you the absolute most. It wasn't just the one piece that was missing from my life, it's the three wonderful pieces that I now have the privilege of calling my family. When I first met you, Stephanie, I knew that you were the one that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Some may say this is a quick judge in character, but some part of me knew deep down truly did believe that this woman is perfect. I was a little bit rough around the edges when we first met, and your amazing outlooks and viewpoints on life began to reflect back on my own. You helped me to expand my viewpoints and level of care and compassion as I witnessed the mother and daughter bond that you share with Clara every single day. The amount of love and care you have for everyone and everything still never ceases to amaze me. Your boldness and quick-witted personality will continue to keep me on my toes for the years to come. We share a majority of the same interests and hobbies that help spark a part of me that I have never felt or seen before. Today I get the joy of becoming one with my best friend and the love of my life and two beautiful daughters, both of whom I adore with all my heart. In the past three years, we've experienced some great triumphs and amazing times together. We've built a home, not a house. We've built trust for one another and we have built a love that will go on for the rest of our lives. It is impossible for me to put into words the sheer quantity of compassion and infinite embrace the three of you have on my heart. As we begin our life together in front of those whom we are closest to, I make the following vows. I vow to be the man that you inspire me to be and the man that you deserve. I promise to continue working through the blue jobs and untangling the power head in the vacuum due to the copious amounts of female strands wafting through our household. I vow to put your needs and our children's needs before my own. I vow to be your steady rock in turbulent times. Honestly though, sweetheart, I'm sure you look absolutely stunning right now and I can't wait to see how amazing you look up there in front of all our family and friends. Let's go out there and kick some ass and finalize this chapter of our life with an amazing party and celebration with everything we've done together to get to this point. Cheers to us, baby, for the rest of our lives. I can't wait to be with you forever, my love. Hidden dad, dad joke number two. The florist recently got married. It was an arranged marriage. Hidden dad joke number three. Did you hear about the two spiders who just got engaged? I hear they met on the web. <laughs> Please note that Cujo and Stephanie has assumed that she will say yes. Good for you if you can read this as it is one of the three hidden dad jokes. Good luck finding the remainders. Jared, you are truly the best person I know. You are so kind, generous, and gracious. You are everything I ever wanted, but I never thought I would find. You challenge me to always be the best version of myself, and because of you, I am more. I am more centered, more patient, more passionate, and more courageous. You've taught me to trust, to let someone in, and what it truly means to love and to be loved. I couldn't possibly put into words how much I love you, but I can tell you the reasons why I love you. I love you because you make me feel whole. I love you because you make me feel beautiful, even on the most insecure days. I love you because you make me feel thankful every single day. I am thankful that you're always there for me, not just when it is easy, but also when it is hard. I am thankful that you always hear me and try to understand me even when I am being unreasonable. And for that, you deserve a thousand praises. I am thankful that you can always make me laugh, even when life feels heavy. I am especially thankful that you are such an amazing dad to our girls. I even I am even more grateful to you for being so dedicated to our family, and although your hard work sometimes goes without praise, please know that it never goes unnoticed. <clears throat> there are a lot of uncertainties in life, but one thing that I am undoubtedly certain for <clears throat> is you and I. I love you for everything that you are, and I love you for everything that we are together. We have already built such a beautiful life together, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us because I know it will be amazing. <clears throat> You have an unexplainable, 
unexplainable ability to always make me feel safe. I have been so anxiously anticipating this day and stressing out over every detail. The centerpieces, the seating charts, my hair, and my makeup. Now that we're here, none of those details matter, and I'm just completely overwhelmed with joy to finally be marrying my best friend. I love you more than you will ever know. See you soon, XOXO, your soon-to-be wife. Love you, Steph.